On tonight's edition of the Overtime, Coconino football beats Flag High and is headed to the playoffs. Plus, NEU basketball is back. What can we expect? And NEU football has had a tough time on the road, but home games for the Lumberjacks have been another story. All that and more on this edition of the Overtime. Thank you for joining us and welcome to this edition of The Overtime, Northern Arizona's only sports show. I'm your host, Sadie Thompson, and I'm joined by sports reporter, Johnny Crane. Johnny, ready to discuss sports? Sadie, I'm always ready to discuss sports. Let's go. Alrighty, first off, Coconino football is in the playoffs and has had a pretty tough schedule if they beat Gila Ridge in the first round of the playoffs. We both know how rowdy the stands get at home games, especially football and especially for a playoff team. Do you think the Panthers, with the home field advantage in the first playoff game, will be able to advance to play the number one seed tomorrow? Well, Sadie, after a marquee inner city win against rival Flag High, Coconino is playing with house money heading into the playoffs. With that in mind, their first playoff match will be interesting, with the game taking place at Coconino High School. A home field advantage is everything, Sadie. For the Panthers this season, they're 4-1 at home where they scored over 200 of their 391 points scored during the regular season. While the spotlight for the offense has been on running back Zach Bennett and quarterback Jordan Lucero, do not discount senior running backs Bo Gomez and Bailey McCoslin. These two athletes have provided good primary and secondary supporting roles in carrying the football behind Bennett. Gomez had 55 carries for over 350 yards, while McCoslin had 44 carries for over 500 yards. Look for both to continue their role playing behind Bennett. And with home field advantage for the first game, these three players could prove to be the difference between a win and a loss. Sadie, you played sports in high school. I am sure you can attest to the home field advantage, right? Yes, I did, Johnny. I played basketball and did track in high school. It was so easy to feed off an enthusiastic home crowd. It made wanting to win just that much more because I never wanted to let anyone come to my home and win. Fall sports are slowly coming to an end. That means winter sports are quickly arriving. Johnny, what does that mean? That means basketball, Sadie. <laughs> yes, Johnny, you're, actu you're absolutely correct. Basketball season is quickly approaching. So Johnny, there are several returning players on the NEU men's basketball team. Luke Abdolovich and Bernie Andre are both returning and were both two key players last season. What can fans expect from the returning players this season? Well, Sadie, fans can expect both veterans to continue to implement their brand of basketball on the court. And with that in mind, fans should get excited at that prospect as both have very entertaining styles of play. For Andre, he led the team with 13.8 points a game which was good enough for 13th in the entire Big Sky Conference. However, as we know, Sadie, it is not all about the ball finding the net. Andre was also durable, playing in 23 games, and was consistent in retrieving the ball off the glass, compiling 8.5 rebounds per game. While Andre is the consistent playmaker on offense, Avdolovich is the more explosive three-point Phenom that can be reminiscent of Clay Thompson from downtown. Abdolovich made almost 50% of his three-point shots. You heard that correctly, folks. His show from beyond the arc is lethal, and should that translate into this season, watch out, opponents. Johnny, not only do we have some key returning players you just previously mentioned, but some promising newcomers as well. The men's basketball team just traveled to Tucson Wednesday and played number 21 ranked University of Arizona for their first game of the season. NEU lost 91 to 52, but Cameron Shelton put up a respectable 17 points, had seven rebounds, and one assist. A standout player for Arizona has to be freshman forward Zeke Naji. He put up 20 points and was the high scorer of the game. Now for our final topic, let's discuss NEU football. As the regular season comes to a close, the team has struggled in away games as they are 0-5. On the other hand, they are undefeated at home at 4-0. What are some things the fans bring to the stadium every game that gets the Lumberjacks so hype? Well, Sadie, as an NEU TV employee, I have been to all the home games and have noticed the fans being engaging and cheerful to the team playing. And boy, do the players take notice of it, as they have responded to the crowd with an undefeated record, as you stated. While there have been many factors as to why NEU has been great at home, let's stay on the topic of running backs. Joe Logan has been grounding and pounding it on the gridiron tallying eight rushing touchdowns on the season while accumulating over 400 yards on the season. 
Both are impressive numbers, considering NAU has been a predominantly air raid oriented offense this year with Case Cook as at the quarterback helm. I'll be working the game, Sadie, but I guarantee you the crowd will be cheering. Expect the players to respond to the atmosphere in a huge way. You're absolutely correct, Johnny. I caught up with senior defensive back Khalil Dorsey and asked him what home field advantage brought to him and the team. Different experience. I try to take it in. You see me uh, on the sideline. I'll just stand still and uh, not like stare at the crowd, but just like stare at everything. Just try to take everything in. The Lumberjacks have three more games left in the season, two of which are home games. And the next home game is this weekend against Sacramento State on Saturday at 2 p.m.